My name is Ernst Kochi, and I'm really excited about uh, this project that the Lord placed in my heart. Uh, I'm a pastor, inner city uh, pastor. I pastor Life Church, which is in Brooklyn, New York, and it's a young, growing congregation. So I've counseled many people in my church and even outside my church, and I guess that was part of the whole process of how this book and project came about. From Likeable to Lovable actually started uh, several years ago. I started noticing that um, the Lord was dealing with me about uh, relationships. He was giving me a lot of understanding about my own relationship and relationships of other people. And so as I began to really ponder more and more about what God was doing, it became apparent to me that I should start writing a book. And that's how From Likeable to Lovable came about. You know, one of the biggest challenges also with this book was, people may not know this, but From Likeable to Lovable was actually part of a larger book. And this larger book uh, dealt with the subjects that From Likeable to Lovable has, but also it went into marriage. And I started to focus on the married life. I was having a hard time coming up with a title for this book. And I realized the hardest part about it was I had so many subjects in that one book. I couldn't figure out how to, you know, properly capture a title that will address singles and married and this. And it was just, it was a lot. So it was a hard decision for me, but I had to actually break the book up. And with that, I had to do a lot of rewrites. So I had to edit more things, uh, more chapters, I had to add chapters, take away chapters. It was, it was very frustrating. So that delayed the whole process by, I would say another three to four months, just, just because of that. What makes From Likeable to Lovable different is my, my personal passion was to make this book very, very pragmatic, specifically to the Christian audience. And so what that means is a lot of the books I've read, they're great, nothing against it actually, uh, but I felt that a lot of the natural, uh, the natural wisdom or the wisdom that, that churches probably wouldn't uh, emphasize, I felt that that was missing. One of the things that I'm bothered by is that a lot of natural things are overlooked. And so you can easily emphasize the spiritual nature of relationships, which must be emphasized just to be clear on that, but you can't overlook some of the basic things, you know? And so, um, again, it really emphasizes on the practicality of relationships. I wanted to tackle uh, some other issues. So I, I deal with your physical appearance. I deal with how kind and our ability to connect with people, just being a likable person. Some people are just mean, you know, they're not nice, they're not kind, they don't know how to smile, you know, and so we, we, we address those things. I really challenge the reader to look at the way they live their life on an everyday basis and make an evaluation as to maybe I'm doing something that's keeping people away from me. Maybe I'm not presenting myself in the best way. And so that was one of the key things I really wanted to focus on. You know, my relationship, uh, I it really was instrumental, obviously, in me bringing a lot of the material out in this book. Uh, one of the things I'll say is um, I'm very proud of my relationship. Uh, I believe it's a very mature, honest relationship, loving relationship, uh, but not a relationship without flaws, not a relationship by any means that's perfect. So I can say today that my relationship is very strong. Uh, my wife and I, we are enjoying our marriage. Uh, we've been married for almost 10 years. And uh, it's very interesting when we started off, we started off as very good friends. And we thought about getting into a relationship we had discussed it and we were like, no, we're pretty good just being friends. And we were actually reluctant to even go further into a relationship. From that, just romanced and budded this love and affection and appreciation that we have for each other. Through this marriage, obviously, we've had a daughter, uh, Sophia, who's an absolute joy to us. And uh, we, we really have a passion uh, to see Christians and, and people in general just live this this life in their relationship that that we see you can live so one of the topics that i love in this particular book is actually a chapter it's called is this the one and is this the right time um, and so i'm really excited about this particular chapter because it really focuses on the kind of conversations you need to have 
to determine whether or not you're ready or if they're ready for a relationship with you. Count the cost before you get married. Do you understand what it means to love another person outside of yourself? Do you understand what it means to live a life of sacrifice? Or do you just want to get involved because you have needs? Oh, yeah. We talk about family upbringings and, and things like that. Anything that really is going to play a role in your ability to move a relationship forward. So is this the one and is it the right time? Conversations you need to have. You know, I like an analogy that one time came to my mind and that is uh, whoever goes on a plane, uh, not asking where the plane is gonna land, not knowing how long it's gonna take for it to land, uh, that's kind of rare. You, usually before you board a plane, you wanna know where it's going, you wanna know that it has enough fuel to get there. It is a few questions you might have. Um, well, the same thing should be said for relationships. Why enter a relationship and you have no clear uh, destination plan? Well, how long is it going to get to where it's supposed to get? Where is it supposed to get? These are some of the questions that this book is really going to help you to understand. I would love from likable to lovable to really be a tool that many people look to and use to first assess where they are as a person in terms of their ability to enter into a relationship. Uh, secondly, if you're in a relationship, I would love for this book to be able to help you assess if your relationship is a dead-end relationship, does it have a future? Um, if you're dating, if you're single, this book is really for you because it's gonna help you understand where you are and what is working and what's not working. And, and I'll just say this, to be honest with you, you know, you have all that it takes. It's an, it, relationships shouldn't be difficult, it shouldn't be hard. You know, the nature of loving someone and being loved is something that God has provided as a gift to humanity. He's given us the ability to do that. What happens is that we just have to learn how to get out of our own way. We have to learn how to not become more complicated than necessary. If we push aside those things and we push aside notions that don't really come from the word, but they come from the world, you'll look at relationships a whole new way and you'll enter a relationship seamlessly and not that you won't have any challenges, not that there won't be moments where you might have to learn some things, but you'll find that it'll be very easy to fall in love and to stand in love. And so that's the hope that I have for this book, uh, to help people fall in love and stand in love through the grace of God.